welcome to another video. Today we are working on the Alteza and the STI. Uh, we have a big ass wing to put on the Alteza. It is this, you think it's, it's Voltex, right? Yeah. yeah, so we have this giant carbon fiber Voltex wing that we'll be putting on the Alteza because why not? To get a, I, I love big wings. I know lots of people have mixed, mixed opinions on them, but I really like big wings. And then we're doing an oil change on the STI, so I got my AMS oil 10W30 right there. So yeah, that's the plan. I'm trying to get the STI ready for my like 10, 11 hour drive to Vancouver, or I guess in total like 20 hour drive to Vancouver for driven. So I'm trying to do some maintenance stuff, make sure she's running perfect before I take that adventure. And I'm also gonna be cleaning the air filter too because I haven't cleaned that cone in a long time. Pretty sure it's full of shit from the winter. So yeah, that's the plan. Our current concern is that this big ass wing is actually too big for this trunk. It fits, like the supports fit, but there's these big ass base plates, carbon base plates that we're not sure are gonna be able to fit just because of how wide the supports are for the wing. So we're gonna make sure that works right now before we start anything. Never mind, we're not getting started yet because John fucked up. John, what'd you do? Forgot the bolts. He forgot the bolts for the wing. So we gotta go back to his house, which isn't too far, but it'll take us a little bit. We'll probably just take the Veloster. But before we go, I'm gonna get my car up on the ramps and get the bumper off and everything so that I can do the oil change when we get back, when it's cooled down. All right, so my hood doesn't have any dampeners because I was told not to use dampeners with the carbon hood because it'll like warp it. So I just use my handle from my jack to hold it up. And then these, Four clips here are the only things actually holding my bumper on. So, ow. We have to take the bumper off now so that we can get the car up on the ramps because there's no way that it's getting up when it's this low. Okay. Once those four bolts or four little clips are on, it's a good pull. That's that. Oh. That over there. <laughs> All right, so I'm just taking off the skid tray right now. In case any of you are wondering, this is how I got my underglow to work on the front. Super ghetto. Definitely not the best way to do it. I just ended up cutting this slit in the skid tray, which ended up fucking me because this would flap in the wind. I already took out those bolts, that's why it's flapping back there. This would flap in the wind, so I had to zip tie it up to the light, to the LED bar and to the subframe to stop it from flapping. But yeah, just taking the skid tray off and then get started. All right, so after taking off the skid tray, I have come across a very minor amount of oil hanging out over there. I have no idea where it's leaking from. I can't see any spot that it's actually coming from, but I don't know. It's not enough that I'm overly concerned right now. And it never drips on the ground or anything. I always check, so I'm just gonna leave it. All right guys, so I just went to go see what my intake was looking like, and this is why it needs to be clean. There's literally gravel inside my intake little cone here, so that definitely needs to be cleaned. You can see from under here too, it's all muddy and really just needs to be cleaned. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm still waiting for my oil to cool down because it's still pretty hot and I don't necessarily want to drain it when it's that hot. It's gonna fuck up my hands, maybe being a bitch, but I'm gonna do the cone first. So I got the cone out. This definitely needs a good cleaning. Get all this gravel and shit out of there. It's a little squished from getting it to fit where it was, but it's all right. There's nothing inside of it, at least. <laughs> Hi guys, so I just went to the store and picked up this K&N. This like just air filter cleaner, and then air filter oil right here, because this is, this is bad, so I gotta clean this. This stuff's relatively easy to use. I was gonna just get a new one because this one's all bent up and shit, but it was like $15 more than just buying the cleaning stuff, so I'll clean it. I'm sure it still works fine, so fuck it, yeah. All right, so I just sprayed that air filter cleaner all over this, and now I'm just letting it sit outside for like 
15 to 20 minutes and then I'll hose it out with the hose and then spray it with the oil and it'll be good to go. I think in the meantime I'm gonna drain my oil. It's cold by now, so I'm gonna do that now. Well, definitely got oil everywhere, but it's draining. Luckily I didn't get any on the camera, fuck. And it's on cardboard, that's okay. Got a little bit on the floor, but not much. All right, so while that oil is draining, I'm gonna rinse out the filter. It already looks way better. Just gonna leave this up here to dry for a little while now. So I just pulled the filter out from underneath, let that drain as well, it's just dripping a little bit more right now. Then I'll put the new one in. If any of you are wondering, I think I already said, but AMS Oil 1030 is what I use, and then Pure Later One filters is what I use. So yeah, seems to work okay for me, it's all I've ever used, never had any issues, so I'm gonna keep using it. All right, this is fully drained now. It's just dripping a little bit, but I think I'm good. I wiped off where the filter was, and now I'm gonna prime the new filter, put some oil in there, and then screw it on. And then it should be good to put the plug back in and fill it up. All right, so I don't know if you guys can see, but I filled it up probably halfway and then used my finger and rubbed it all along these holes and around the ring. And now I'm just gonna screw it on. All right, so I just checked under the car, put the filter on, put the plug on, everything's torqued down. So now I'm just gonna fill it up, and it takes 4.2 quarts. People say that it normally takes about 4.5, 4.6, but I'm gonna put 4.2 and see where it's at. Maybe it just needs to run a little bit, then it'll read full. We'll see though, I got five quarts just to be safe. I just sprayed the filter with the filter oil, and now it is looking way better. If you guys remember what it looked like before I cleaned it, it was terrible, it had gravel in it. Now it's actually looking pretty good. You can actually see through it. So yeah, I'm gonna throw it back in now and the car should be way happier. Oh no. <laughs> well, I just dropped it, but <laughs> it luckily didn't really get dirty. It's just the edges of it. Put the cover back on and then we all done. All right, everything's put back together. I think I'm good to start it up now. All right guys, so now the car is down off the ramps. Everything's put back together. I let it run for a little bit, check the oil again, and it's still right at the top, so I'm super hyped on that. Everything seems good, air filter is clean, which I'm also very stoked about because I've been meaning to do that for a really long time and I was putting it off, which I shouldn't have, but yeah, car's good to go. I realized that lots of you already know how to change your oil and all that, but I was gonna do it. I was like, I might as well film some maintenance stuff because rather than always filming, just putting mods in and stuff like that. Unfortunately, we did not get to John's wing because the bolts on his factory wing that we had to take off were rusted and stripped to the point where we couldn't even tell if they were Robinson's, Phillips, regular screwdriver, couldn't tell. And we tried to drill them out and it didn't work. So yeah, we're just gonna have to save that for another day, which is fine. Just means I have another video for you guys. Yeah, I'm gonna bring the Veloster back in here and then I'm gonna head inside. If you enjoyed today's video, drop a like so I know. And if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button, join the family, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Take care, peace. Thank you.